What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another episode of Draco's Journey to Master Ball, where we use rental teams or teams that I've created to reach the Master Ball tier. As always, I'm Draco, and we are back at it today. We are making our climb. Uh, we're Pokeball Tier 4, so we've made it out of beginner tier, which, I mean, isn't super hard, but we did do something, and that's all that matters. We're making our way up into the Master Ball tier. Um, so, we have a pretty cool team. I was, uh, like I do every day, every other day or so, I look for a team to use, and I uh, got on the old YouTube and I'm like, okay, I gotta find a good team. Hey, we look, we gained some points. Not bad. It means we won our last battle. And I was like, I really need to find some points. Or need to find some points. <laughs> I need to find a good team. And I was expecting to have to look for something good. Because now that Series 13 is a month old, I think I think it's just like, it's kind of plateaued here. And I kind of thought that was what was going to happen. Where it's just going to be... A whimsicott and five restricted or mythicals uh, you know and uh, I was afraid it's gonna be hard to find cool teams but when I turned YouTube on this morning this team right here Lord Helix team was in my like recommended videos to watch so I clicked on the video and uh, pretty cool video actually how the creator of the team who goes by the name of Sassafras VGC I will have all the links below for him. Everything I can find on him, I'll have a link below. He, he is a fellow YouTuber, um, so show him some love for sure. Because uh, it's cool how he did it. He actually um, like voiced over his battles with fast forwarding it. So where I do like live, you know, this is live, and it's not live, but it's you know, this it is what it is. It plays how it plays. I don't really edit my battles at all. I just let them run out. But I was seen seen uh, <clears throat> Omnistar, and I was like, dude. I'm a sucker for Gen 1. We gotta give it a shot. So we're gonna give this Omnistar, Omnistar, Omnistar team a shot and see if we can't pick up some victories. As far as the rest of the team, though, it's got Magirnium, it's got Groudon, it's got Calyrex Shadow, so three super awesome hitters. It's got the Intimidator um, in the Incineroar, who's got Fake Out, Snarl, Flare, Lift, and U-Turn. So pretty versatile. Um, not Assault Vested, though. In fact, it's actually safety goggles, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then the Omnistar is weakness policy. It has weak armor, so when it's hit by a physical move, um, its speed is doubled. So it gets plus two on the speed. I believe that's what it said. I can just click on the paste real quick. If a physical attack hits this Pokemon, defense is lowered by one, speed is increased by two. We have double kick on the Calyrex, and from what I understand, that's how you proc Omnistar's weakness policy and weak armor. So, if you guys are excited to see some Omnistar on the channel in Series 13, I thought I would never say that. You know what to do. Hit that like button. And if you are new to the channel, so some love and help me build the DK Trading YouTube channel by hitting that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the battles. Okay, all right. There's a Mewtwo, and an Urshifu, and a Zapdos, and a Charizard, a Magirna, and a uh, the name eludes me. Anyways, Omnistar kind of does pretty decent here. Um, I just don't know if we lead it because Zapdos is a thing. Hmm. I think we're gonna go. This is tough. Hmm. I wanna go Grim Snarl, Groudon. I don't. I do. Omnistar. And we'll bring Calyrex. Hmm. <clears throat> Trying to think if like Trick Room would have been a thing. Maybe we could have led Omnistar and double kicked and hmm. 
So they go yeah, Zapdos and the <laughs> Land Shark, whose name is really at the tip of my tongue and I cannot remember it right now. Okay. Garchomp. His name's Garchomp, everyone! <laughs> Okay. Um, could light screen. We could stone edge. I'm going to stone edge. I'm not going to max right now. They are. Who is it? Is it the uh, Garchomp? It's funny. That is Garchomp. It's funny. I actually have a live series coming up. We're going to start playing a playthrough with Cynthia's team. I was going to start it this week, but I underestimated how long it takes to actually get the Pokemon into the game in the beginning stages. It was surprisingly hard. We should have reflected. They got Max Wilmer. They Max Steel Spike. Okay. That sucked. <laughs> All right, defense rises. Oh, man, Omnistar goes way hard here. Um, uh, Zapdos avoids the attack. That. Oh, man, we got nothing done that turn except set up a, a stupid light screen. Okay, I'm going to swap here. We should have just led. Yeah, we should have just led. I'm going to Dynamax. I'm going to Max Guard. I gotta try something crazy, and I'm gonna switch. I gotta try something crazy, I think, here, just to get a up. I'm hoping they go into Omnistar 100%. Alright. This is like legit my first time using it. I think I've used Omnistar one other time, but I feel like this is like my first time using it. Especially in VGC. You never see this. Cool enough though. Cool enough for me to use. Max Guard. Let's go. Perfect, okay. Calyrex does get hit, unfortunately. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Guys. Not good. We'll try the double kick, Strat. I mean, that's why we did this whole switch thing. Paralyzed, man. Max Quake. And there, uh... That's unfortunate. I think we lose Omnistar. The Paralyze just totally screwed us over here. There's nothing we can do about it. We do get a weak armor. Yeah, we shouldn't have double kicked ourselves. Okay. Hey man, I don't know much about this guy. Calyrex is paralyzed. The fact that Calyrex is paralyzed is a big deal. <laughs> Just don't faint. Okay, we lived the one turn. Okay. We get a max hailstorm off. Wow. That was crazy. Garchomp. Garchomp, you have to you, you had to live there, huh? Ugh. Oh. Okay. Garchomp goes down to the hail. Nice. Okay. We're not like hundred percent out of this yet. We got shots. We've had some bad luck. Some unfortunate luck. But that's okay. Omnistar is hurting here. Looking like Rocky Balboa when he fought Apollo Creed. I have no idea. To be honest with you. 
only seen the Rocky movies when I was a kid. I don't remember, but I know he was messed up in one of. Was that was that when he fought Drago? It's the one where he like rope doped him. I don't know. Anyways, McGarney comes in. Okay. Um. Who do they have in the back? Probably Urshifu or Mewtwo. I could, it could, I could see being Mewtwo. And we're, s oh no, wait a minute. No, I think we're okay here actually. Let's just try Astro. We gotta be faster than the Magirna here still, right? Calyrex. What? What was that? How are we? All right. Oh, Heat Wave. They're faster than the Omnistar. Hmm. Hailstorm. That was a really weird interaction. I have no idea what happened there, to be honest with you. <laughs> well, they got a Soul Heart. Awesome. Gleam takes out both our Pokemon. So glad that happened. This has been an awful battle. I'm not gonna lie. Like I don't even know what happened here. This just went crazy. Two soul hearts. Okay. Three soul hearts, dude. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Crowd on. Help me out here. Ursh comes in. Is that water Ursh? Okay. I don't even. It is the water Ursh. Okay. Um. I just go blaze. There's not really anything I can do here. I mean, it's not gonna kill us because the sun's up, but it's gonna hurt a lot. Surging strikes. Yeah, there's nothing we can do here. We're gonna lose to the surging strikes, uh, if not this turn, next turn. Let's see. Ooh, maybe. Okay, actually, we might be able to live one more. Because of the sun. Okay, Blades comes through. Hmm. Hmm. They might live with like one. Actually, it's single target. So, we'll see here. It's going to come down to this. Can we live this? I think we do. We do not live another one. I think we live. It's gonna be close. The sun is helping us, like, hundred percent, tremendously helping us. We would be dead if it wasn't, <laughs> if the sun wasn't up. Okay, single target blades. Let's go. Yes. Never. Maybe down. I'm never out. Playing till the end of the game, and you see what happens. GG's to my opponent. That was a good game. I didn't think I was going to win. <laughs> I thought I was done for when the Urshifu came up. Um, the fact that we outsped the Magirna with our uh, Groudon just, uh, you know, made it that much better. It was a really weird interaction because we were plus two on the speed, so we were, f I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to start weird. It's a weird Pokemon. Anyways, um, that was a good battle. Muscle Band. I'll see, you weren't even Focus Sash. I was worried about Focus Sash. Wow. Muscle Band and we took those Surging Strikes. Weakness Policy, Zapdos. What? That's nuts. Are you vested? Oh, you're wise. Wearing them wise glasses. You are. You, you too. No Trick Room. What? Why? Oh, you're a soul fest. That's pretty interesting, I guess. 
Charizard with the life orb. Not a lot of, like, no protects at all on any of their Pokemon. They're just choosing the violence. Anyways, great team. GG's to my opponent. Good battle. Let's get into another battle. One second. Okay. <clears throat> um, pretty, uh, pretty interesting team they've got here. Okay. I think we lead Grimmsnarl in Cineroar. Oh. I'm star can do pretty good here against a couple of them. Them guys. Okay, let's go Calyrex, Omnistar. Crowd on. Snarl, huh? Right? Yeah, now throw a chop. And I see Incineroar. Yeah. yeah. I think so. Alright. I got stomped in my last battle. <laughs> it was terrible. I couldn't... Palkia just beat me. Like, literally, Palkia just took me apart. There was nothing I could do about it. <laughs> like, I was like, uh... I just sat here and watched for seven minutes as I got annihilated. All right. So, there you go. Shiny Gyarados. And... The bird. Okay. Um... Let's see. I don't know. This is tough. I went max rockfall into. Okay. Well, they switched there. Brought on. Okay. Are they gonna set up trick room. I'm gonna start pretty slow. So. I really thought about going into the, uh. into the, uh, Galarian, uh, Articuno. But, let's see what this Astro does. Hey, it just Oko's it. Okay. I'll take that. I don't take a Grimnade, a boot. Max Rockfall. Groudon goes down too. Wow. That first turn could not have went any differently than I thought it was going to go. Okay. We do take cheap some chip damage but we've got two Pokemon lead right now and a big giant Omnistar <laughs> like okay okay Gyarados comes back in and their Calyrex okay we're not gonna change the um We're going to Astro Barrage. Okay, so we lose... Okay, so if we Astro Barrage Max Guard, we lose Calyrex because they're probably Sash, but then their, their Calyrex goes down. We bring in... We bring in... I don't know. We bring in whoever. I think, yeah. I think this is what we do. Man. Okay. 
So they max the Gallardos. They could be max air streaming, but we're still fast. We still should be faster because we're scarfed. <laughs> we're scarfed Calyrex, which is crazy. I didn't think it was going to come in clutch, but it might come in clutch here. Okay, we max guard. We Astro. Takes their Calyrex completely out. They were not focused Sash. That is big time. They were relying on a speed tie, but little did they know we were not relying on a speed tie. We, in fact, were relying on our choice scarf. Okay. Now they have a speed tie. Calyrex hangs on with three of them HPs. So that's all you need. Okay. And of course we have to Astro. And then we uh, max Rockfall. And yeah. Omnistar might pick up a victory here. I mean, Calyrex just cleans up. But hey, Omnistar was there. And it did some work. Okay. It got the first turn KO on the Groudon. That was a good battle. That was a quick. That was a quick battle. That was like that was really fast. Wow, that was impressively fast. Not bad at all. GG's my opponent for sure, hundred percent. Um, but yeah, let's get into um, actually yeah, it'll be the third battle. So let's get into the third final battle of the episode. One second. All right. Um, yeah, this is crazy. It's a crazy team they have here. So. Meteor Bay. Okay. Um, I have no idea. I feel like Trick Room setting a Trick Room up could be really good here. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go completely opposite and try the Omnistar thing. Brought Insin. It's got some good Intimidator. It's got Intimidate. A lot of those things are physical, so. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. <laughs> I lost the last battle. This team's like from the four battles that I've done, and I'll do six. So, from the four battles that I've done, um, it seems like this team either works really, really well or you lose really, really fast. Either way, it's going to happen fast. All the battles I've had have been like quick, under like just about 10 minutes, or maybe still over 10 minutes. Most of them have been under 10. Okay. Man. Mm, I'm gonna go protect. Okay. Astro Barrage and protect. Okay, we Astro. I'm really hoping the Dragapult goes down. Perfect. Okay. Just want to know if this thing does a rock move. Ford's Dance. Wow. Alrighty. <laughs> Swords Dance. Sweet, man. Good stuff. Angle Slash. Does Angle Slash no Sucker Punch? I have a feeling that it does. Okay. It's taking too long.
Okay. Well. I'm going to swap Ensign in. Okay. Hopefully they don't know Sucker Punch. I couldn't get it in time. Okay, no Sucker Punch. Astro comes through. Is Calyrex just going to do Calyrex things here and win the game on its own? Plus three Calyrex. <laughs> okay, Choice Scarf Calyrex is like, yo, check this out. It's just a Sharply Rose. Rose Sharply, that means you got a plus two. Zacian comes in. And we have a fake out. And they just have Zacian. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, that's nuts. <clears throat> okay, well, let's... Uh, I'll show you guys, because I don't know if they're going to let me finish the battle. I have plus three Calyrex. Wow. Um, yeah, Astro... And yeah, fake out. Okay, that was nuts. Plus three. Wasn't happening. <laughs> All right, GG's are my opponent. That took five minutes, by the way. That's what I mean. These battles are fast. They're really fast battles. Um. Hey, we actually swept. We never sweep on this channel. Good for us. I think we're going to toss a bonus battle in, um, because yeah, it's like 10 minutes worth of battles. Um, but yeah, let me, uh, yeah, let me jump, let me find another battle and we'll go, yeah, you know what I mean. Let's get into another battle. One second. Alright guys, bonus battle time, and by god, what a team this is. That's Zorak thingy and a ditto and they're just going to transform all over the place, and I have no idea what we're going to do. Except for maybe a little bit of crying. I'm just kidding. It's okay to cry, by the way. It doesn't... Yeah. Anyways. Um, I mean, Groudon... Groudon could be a thing. Calyrex... Yeah, I guess, and I honestly have no idea, to be honest with you. Okay. My plan is to try and set up Trick Room. Like, max the Groudon first turn, and set up Trick Room. But I didn't want to use Magirna to set up Trick Room, because Charizard exists on this team. So... <laughs> Anyways, Krovic Knight and Zard. Okay. Hmm. Do you think that they're. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to allow. If it's going to be able to happen. Because we just gave that thing drought. We're going to max rock fall that spot. And I'm going to try to set up Trick Room. Wish me luck. I have no idea. Good luck. Okay. They max the Charizard, of course. We're vested, too. So that's why I was okay with maxing Grout on here. And I have no idea what Charizard's been doing here in Series 13. I haven't seen much of it. So I don't know the item it has. Nothing like that. Okay. Like, they could Tailwind, right? Which would be fine. I don't know if that thing can no Tailwind. I mean, it's a bird, so I would assume it could. Corvignite can no Tailwind. 
I just watched Battle Room use Corvid Knight to win a tournament. It's pretty cool. Okay, Wildfire into the Dawn. We are vested. It could have went better. Max Rockfall into the Zard. Didn't go so good for them. Okay, we take out Charizard, which is pretty good. And it changes the weather, which is okay, I guess, here. But um, if we can get Trick Room up, we could be doing something here. They light screen. <laughs> they light screened. Okay. And we Trick Room. Now we have to switch Calyrex out, unfortunately, because it's Choice Scarfed. But... I'm gonna take Sand Chip. It's a ground Pokemon. It takes Sand Chip, and Hail, and Wildfire. That's crazy. Or was that just the Wildfire Chip we took? I think that was just the Wildfire Chip we took. What am I talking about? Don't listen to what I just said there. I just was grumbling about nothing. It was the Wildfire. I forgot about that. Okay, Stoice comes out. And we Max Flare there, and we switch. Boy, McGeary, I'm sure it does look tasty here. And yeah, we'll go to Magirna. Magirnia, Magirna, Pokeball Pokemon. The only Pokeball Pokemon in my view is is uh, that ball thing. <laughs> Electro, not Electro, Voltorb. Oh my gosh, I froze. Words are hard, guys. Words are hard. All right, let's do this. <clears throat> Iron Head. Oh man, the fact that they're faster, and that was a critical hit. The fact that they outsped me in Trick Room makes me kind of sad. We get a Max Flare off here. Okay, they hang on with some of them HPs. Sun goes up. Night. What was that? Night something. What was that? Okay. That was weird. Alright, um... Who's your... What if we switch Groudon out here? I mean, how crazy is that? And Dazzling Gleam? Like, we just switch into Blastoise here? Because if there's Zora... If their last Pokemon is that, mm, this is a gamble. Let's make sure we're doing this right. Okay. We'll just switch here. And Dazzling Gleam. Hopefully it takes out the Krovic Knight. But if they have Zora, Orak, or whatever that fire cougar lion thing is, Crowdon could be big. Okay, Gleam comes through. Dude. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, now we know their fourth Pokemon. It's Blastoise. Okay, the U turn. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that was crazy. I was like, why did that do so much damage to Blastoise? Well, now we know. Okay. So, flamethrower. Oh no! That sucked. <laughs> that really sucked. Let's go, Groudon. Okay. That was crazy. That was just a insane like interaction. Okay, we can fake out here. And blades, right? Okay, let's see. And they still have the Krovig Knight in the back. How many turns of Trick Room? Two turns of Trick Room. One more turn of Wildfire. Okay. We we'll probably lose Groudon here, unfortunately.
I'm going to fake out blades. Because it gets rid of that thing. Okay, that's gone. Okay. Scald. Oh, they're faster. Oh, into the wrong... That was the wrong Pokemon, my guy. And blades. If this doesn't take this guy, I don't know. It's lots of damage. Okay. So we hang on one more turn. Probic Knight comes in. Okay. Um, let's see. One last turn to okay, yeah, so we'll go for the snarl. And we're going for the blades, but we're not going to hit the blades because the Crow Knight. Never mind. Incineroar is slower than everybody in our Trick Room. That was beautiful. The Crow Knight outsped us in our Trick Room a few turns ago, if I remember correctly. That's why I was like. And they shell smash. And they shell smash. Does that speed you up, right? Yeah. Hey, not bad. But, you know, that happened. I don't know why you wouldn't have shell smashed, like, turns ago. Well, GG's my opponent. It was a little little shaky there for a second or two. Um, the whole interaction with the Zorak, Zorak thing or the... Whatever that purple thing was that came in. You know, you expect me to remember all these Pokemon names? There's like over a thousand of these little guys now. When I first started playing Pokemon, there's 150 and I could have rattled every single one of those things off to you. No joke, my stepdad. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> this is a true story. So I'm terrible with math. I'm awful with math. It's a curse in life. It's just my curse. But I could name Pokemon, <laughs> right? My stepdad literally goes to me one time when I was little. It's like, how come you're not good at math, but you can remember all those Pokemon? I was like, I don't know. I just can. Anyways, it's a little fun fact for you. GG's my opponent. That was a really good battle. Um, that is going to be the end of the episode. So I'm tossing that little bonus battle for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let's jump over and grab the rental code for you. One second. All right, guys. As always, we will check our rank before we grab the rental code. Just wait for it to communicate. It's thinking about what it's going to do. Pokeball Tier 6. Let's go. We're making a climb. It's a pretty fun team. Let's jump over and grab the rental code. Go over the team for you for a real quick one second. Alrighty, the universe. Here it is, the rental team for today's episode. <laughs> As you can see, I mean, it's got Omnistar on it. And it's like... It's, it's Omnistar. I can't even help but, like, just chuckle. When I when I opened it up on YouTube today and I seen this on the, like, recommended videos to watch um, from Sassafras, who is definitely he's a YouTuber. I'll have a link below for him. Uh, I was like, dude, Omnistar in Series 13 is going to be fun. You know, I got to use it because that's what the whole channel is about. Like, that's the reason why I do the channel is because I want to promote how fun this game can actually be. It's also the reason why I do the, the climb from beginning to Master Ball, because I feel like when you get to Master Ball, it's just the same teams over and over again, you know? And that's kind of boring. There's so many options out there. There's a thousand, you know, there's like over a thousand Pokemon or something like that right now. I don't know the exact number, but it's close to a thousand, you know? It's like, that's why I was, you know, that's why, I, like, I think I thought about it. That's why I was able to remember all these Pokemon, you know, the original 150 Pokemon when I was younger, because... Pokemon's always been fun to me, and math. Well, math's been not fun. I hate math. But I love Pokemon, and I've loved Pokemon since I was a kid. And, you know, that's why I was able to remember all 150 of those Pokemon when I was uh, when I was a kid, Dad. That's why. Because uh, it's fun. And this team is fun. Like I was saying in the episode, all the battles are either really, really fast... You win really, really fast, or it was the last battle we kind of took it down. It was like 10 minutes, but still, for Trick Room Battle, it was fast. Um, the team, though, the team's really cool. It's got weakness policy. Um, I'm going to start with weak armor. So like I said in the beginning of the episode, it speeds you up with weak armor, um, but 
your like defense minus is one, and then you get a plus uh, two on the speed. So there's that, and it's also kind of slow. So you just gotta know speed tiers, and it's a weird, weird, it's kind of a weirder speed tier um, because it is slow. So you can also operate under trick room, but you just gotta watch out if you get hit with a physical attack. Um, your speed will go up, and then you're not gonna be slow. <laughs> so um, as far as his moves, protect ice beam, meteor beam, and hydro pump. Incins over here being incin, it does have safety goggles, flare, let's snarl, U turn, and fake out. It's a pretty cool set actually. It can't be put to sleep be with spores and stuff like that because of the safety goggles. And it's got snarl to help lower special attacks. And this snarl is also really effective against calyrexes and stuff like that. Um, it's got the U turn to get it out of there. Uh, flare blitz is obviously its stab, and then fake out is its fake out with the intimidate ability. That's Incineroar. We've seen Incineroar a thousand times, and we'll see him a thousand more times. He's a great Pokemon, and Anytime he's available, he's going to be used. Jump down to the middle roll with Calyrex, who this one actually, it's a little crazy, strange, because it's got the Choice Scarf, and it's got Trick Room and will o so you're locked into both of those moves. But you lock in the Astro Barrage, and you're outspeeding Calyrexes. You just take it out if they don't have a Focus Sash, and there's nothing they can do about it, and that's that. Uh, it's got Double Kick to proc the Weakness Policy, on Omnistar and give you uh, plus you be is it both times you get hit with the physical move so it's two times so I'm assuming you would be plus four after that we didn't actually get to use it um, it's Omnistar <laughs> I mean I didn't know the the first battle I felt comfortable bringing him because it really did a lot of work and yeah I probably could have played where I just did it with the proc my weakness policy but. Then we probably would have lost Omnistar due to um, the attack that would have income, been incoming from the uh, Garchomp. But anyways, will o Ash Barrage, Double Kick, and Trick Room for the moveset on Calyrex. Then we jump over to Grim Snarl's Pranksters, Double Screen, has Taunt um, for its fourth move, and then Spirit Break and Light Clay. That's Grim Snarl. It's, it's Grim Snarl. Then we got an Assault Vest Groudon over here with the Drought. It's got Heavy Slam, Stone Edge, Fire Punch, and Blades. Um... It's Assault Vest Groudon. You can't go wrong with an Assault Vest Groudon. You really can't. Magirna is over here with a Soul Heart ability. Anytime a Pokemon faints, it gets a boost on a special attack, which is insane. Holding a Life Orb, so it does even more damage. Flora Cannon, Flash Cannon, so it's got some cannons. Trick Room and Dazzling Gleam. That is the team in a nutshell. I hope you guys enjoyed this crazy episode of Draco's Journey to Master Ball. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button. And if you are new to the channel, help me build the DK Training YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button. Until next time, remember to take care of yourself and take care of each other. Peace.